Hi everybody, here's Christian from Team Warpcast. This is our Stardew Valley Let's Play. It's the 26th of fall. And things will be happening today. Um... Oh... So, Spirit's Eve is, is, is tomorrow. Another event, that's nice. Uh, the spirits are in good humor today. I think you'll have a little extra luck. Ooh. Well, that would be actually call for an expedition, right? Hmm. Let's see, what's going to be our... Oh, wow, I don't have a squid. Baked fish. Did I do a salad yet? Leek, dandelion, and vinegar. I did not do a salad yet. What is this omelette? Okay, I'm gonna do a salad. Leek, dandelion, vinegar. Let's do this. Ignoring everything. Uh, leek. Oh, my last leek. Whatever. Dandelion. Uh, actually, I'm just gonna go like this, right? Salad! <laughs> I like how that I make the food and just put it in the fridge. <laughs> I I gotta say, like, that's something about this game which I don't like. Is like, don't, don't I have don't have to eat? I want to eat all the things that I cook here. It's it's so uh, it's so anticlimactic to cook some delicious stuff and not eat it. I know that you can eat it to get your health back, but I want to be, be forced to eat it every day. So it's like to, every day I have to decide like, oh, what do I want to eat today? It's ah, uh, it's. Ah! Sorry, I got I had to vent because eating is delicious. I want I leave I love to eat in games. It's like the eating simulation. Dear Kristen, a notice a chill in the air. It could be uh, just the approach of winter, or it could be the tingle of a dark spectre here to help us celebrate tomorrow's festival, the Spirit's Eve. Come down to 10 p.m. if you like to participate in Mario Lewis. Oh, so it's like Halloween. That's so cool. I love that they have like um, variations on actual holidays in this game. Dear Christian, thank you for purchasing a coop upgrade. In addition to doubling the capacity of your coop, I've taken the liberty of installing an incubator. You can use the incubator to simply place an egg inside. If you have a s Oh my god, I can make my own chickens. You have a space left in your coop, the egg will hatch in several days. Oh, I can make my chickens. Oh my god, this changes everything. Everything has, has changed. Oh, I got trash. So for some reason I'm getting very excited about the trash every time I see it. Like, yes, trash, sweet. Oh, artichokes. Yes, chin strap. You're a good boy. Uh, so apparently the, uh, this game has been translated in different la languages, but through usage of mods, or it might be translated through usage, usage of mods. So, ooh, that's the incubator? No, ooh, that looks like a cat tree. Where's the incubator? Is that an incubator? I think that's the incubator. Should we incubate an egg? How many ducks do I want to have? I want to incubate an egg just to see what it looks like. Ooh, no, don't eat it. If I incubate a large egg, but I get something different? Oh, so many decisions. Um... Let us set up everything. What is that? What is this? What's that? What's this? There's chickens everywhere. All right, it's egg time, guy. Uh, it's egg time. It's it's duck time. Duck time. Egg time. Duck time. Ooh. Duck time. Dun, 
Dark time. Ooh. You know, now you know what the name of the episode is going to be like. Dark time. Ooh. And now you have the theme song stuck in your ears. You're welcome. Why do I have those eggplants in here? Can you explain this to me? It, you can't, Christian, you can't, because you're a silly goose. Um, I'm sorry, sometimes I, I take some time with item management, because this is actually the core of the game to me, just fumbling around with stuff. And you know what? I'm so fine with that. It's even not even funny. Let me get some of the grapes. I want to keep at least one ancient fruit in my in my repository. Don't eat it. Just make a wine out of this. Jesus. Yeah. Okay. Nice. There is a German translation project. I am excited. Um. All right. Oh, I got this. I got a stone. Is that a stone or a coal? It's a coal. Yes. Coals are good. So you know what? I'm gonna... Oh, train. I'm not gonna go for the train. Last round the train was a disappointment. I'm not expecting anything else today. But what I'm doing instead is I'm going to deal with the ducks, Leia, and the upgrade. Oh, perfect. Pro-chase animals. So I'm gonna have three ducks. Alright guys, who wants to be a duck? Antiqui, we're gonna make Antiqui a duck. Even if he if he doesn't want to, he will just be a duck. Done. You're a duck. Look at how happy this duck looks. I'm so amazed. Antiqui Ribbon Quest, you are already a duck, aren't you? It's less easy, a duck. I'm gonna go, go a little less easy, I think. Antiqui wants to be a pig. Well, too late about that. You're. It's. I don't know when when we're gonna get to get pigs, guys. I'm just. You're gonna have to run with whatever you have. We're gonna go less easy. Is that how you spell him? Because I am fat. Don't you say anything like this. You're not fat. Uh, all right. You know you're a duck. We have ducks now. Right. Still looking for Leia, though. Oh, she's here. Oh, damn! I can't even... Oh, hi, Kristen. Come in, come in. I'm just working on the sculpture here. Come here, watch this. See that? I'm uh, revealing the essence of the wood. Wow! That's deep, bro. Once you get past the outer layers, the true nature starts to show. It's the same with people. Man! Oh! Wow. <laughs> Creepy. May I have a kiss? I actually prefer the look of raw, unadulterated wood. It's the same with people, man. It's the same with people. What? Oh yeah, that's absolutely right. <laughs> I first visited this valley as a little girl while on vacation with parents. I knew I had to come back someday. This place has great artistic potential. Although I have to admit, it's not easy, uh, not easy to pay the bills as an artist. <laughs> tell me, you tell me about that. Uh, why don't you have an art show in this town? Why don't you sell your art on the internet? Interesting. I guess that could set the wheels in motion to making Pelica Town a true art destination. But what if no one likes my sculptures? I'll be crushed. Man, you just need to do the sculptures in, in RimWorld. Those, those are the best sculptures. I think about it. Uh, well, thanks for stepping by, Kristen. See always with the good advice. 
Antiquis uh, talking about um, uh, start with sport. Man, I wow. So that's that's kind of oh. By the way, I want to go back to give the blackberry. Are we gonna get another? Wow, <laughs> there's been a lot of uh, a lot of events that pent up there. Kel, how many times do I have to tell you? I don't want to come back to the city. Stop calling me. I don't want to hear from anyone. Click. Grumble, 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 grumble. Let's see, yay! Let's see, four, four, four. Kristen. Let's see, you've been just turned into a into a duck. So I guess you heard me yelling on the phone. Oh, look at she's breathing. That was my ex. I guess I better tell you a little about it. Oh. We can partner together back in the city. I did odd jobs during the day and spent all night working on art projects. We barely made enough to scrape by. She was always net. Wow. Confirmed lesbian. She was always nagging me to go back to school and studying business or medicine, something with a lot of money in it. I guess the idea was to save up for a normal life, you know, uh, a house that's the server of kids, PDA meetings, that sort of thing. Wow. I wasn't ready for that kind of life, Kristen. I had to leave, so I came here to pursue my dream of being an artist. You know, I really like Leah. That was selfish of me. Is, was that selfish of me, Kristen? No, it had to be done. No, and your ex sounds like an idiot. No, but you wouldn't would would have been better off staying in the city. Yeah, a little. I I don't think that's the, um no. And your ex sounds like an idiot. That's a little harsh, but yeah, we had a different priorities. Anyway, I've been thinking a little more about uh, um, that art show idea you had. Uh, I'm working on some new sculptures to display at the show. I'm nervous, but the thought of getting my work out there is pretty exciting. I'm just glad you're on board with making Sardew Valley a premier art destination, Kristen. That's something that's missing in this game. You can't really make art. Oh, hi. Leia, I just want, really want to just give you this, this Blackberry, like I got this this baggage suddenly and I just want to give this Blackberry that you wanted and now it's like I'm involved in your art exhibition, Jesus. But I'm glad. Uh, hello Kristen, um, uh, the, is that the Blackberry I requested? It looks perfect, there's your payment as promised. Wow, all, all business all of a sudden. <sighs> So yeah, now Lessie Z is uh, super hyped about being a duck right now. His dreams come true. We're gonna uh, check on the ducks in a second here. Uh, but yeah, just talking about sports, it's something that's really weird. When you get a little bit older and once you get like, reach like your 30s, when, like when you're a kid, you can just eat everything, like everything your body does. Oh, you already given two the gifts. Well, Sam, I'm just gonna watch you have skateboards. Uh, so you can eat everything and you know your health your body just completely you're like a wolverine your body regenerates everything you throw at it and then once you had 30 suddenly like all those processes don't really work that well anymore and suddenly like oh who would have thought that drinking beer will make my gut grow and then you start making sports and i've been doing that and uh, it's, it's not always easy but it's good. I like. And now Pokemon Go came out, so that's what I want to say. Pokemon Go came out, and that's perfect because I just take my Pokemon Go and go jogging, and then like you know hatch all of the eggs while jogging. It's really great. A bit distracting though because I have like two Pokestops on my jogging route, and uh, then there's always like the sounds in my earphone, like oh all the Pokemon that are suddenly I walk by and then sometimes I like look at the phone oh man I haven't seen that Pokemon and I have to stop and do the thing uh, but I have to like develop like a discipline how to live with Pokemon Go and jogging at the same time but I noticed already that Pokemon Go is really great because it's it's encouraging you to go out like yesterday evening I was like I could just sit there and then splurge out on the couch but I could also go out for a half an hour and just you know, walk around and catch some Pokemon. It's great. I love it. It's exactly what I wouldn't do usually on my own. Just go out. Well, why? And uh, it gives like this good, a uh, good reason to do this. Ah, oh, sorry. Ah, got to go to burp there and there. 
Right, um, so I'm thinking maybe gold pickaxe. Because I won't be going to the mines tomorrow. And I will be going to the mines very soon. And I still want to destroy that that meteor ore. That's, that's my goal. So I'm thinking gold pickaxe. We can also do a gold watering can. I haven't gotten a gold watering can yet. I thought that that was golden. I guess it's steel. Oh, I don't have the money. Never mind. The ducks were expensive, guys. The ducks were expensive. Um, but they they were they will be worth it, guys. All right. So let me see if there's some. Hey, it's a fine looking day. If there's some quests. Nothing posted today. Nope. Still early. Well, we have to water our plants and check on the ducks. Let's see. Uh, meet your alter ego in a second. I like how Let's see is like literally in almost every game that we did so far. Uh, on almost almost every Let's Play, he's he's the he's the mascot. All right, delivering some stuff, getting the gold. Gold. Always believe in yourself. Oh, no, cute little little duck chickens. Duck chickens? Is that how you? What you? How you? Oh, don't go out yet. Oh, Pokemon Mini. An antiqui. Where is Lessie Z? Oh, there he is. He was hidden behind this. There's Ribbon Quest, she's fine, but I wanna, I wanna, Ribbon Quest, Ribbon Quest is like, yeah, I will be, I will completely own that, that little, come on, Lessie Z, Recodius, this is, there we go, Lessie Z seems curious, but a little cautious, she's getting used to the new home, oh, it's a female, making sure they have all the, oh, and there's the egg hatching, yes, this is progressing at a, at a good pace. Um, let me get some of them eggs. Uh, I don't want to use up my last eggs. Simply because sometimes we might have to do some eggs thing, related things. The unofficial Timor cast test dummy. Well, the un the I would say it's the official Timor cast test dummy. I don't know. I don't think it's that un unofficial right now. I start with Jugger. Pokemon is not my style of game. Fun fact, uh, on my work they have forbidden to play it since the one worker has been in accident with a pitchfork because of playing. Wow! Uh, that sounds horrible. Yeah, yeah, you shouldn't play Pokemon Go when you... But I... Like, especially in the casual sense, I think it's really great. I'm, I'm, just, I'm really curious to what happens when my girlfriend comes back from her vacation. Uh, because she's always like nagging me like, you know, well, we should go out more and I think Pokemon Go is like a great excuse to be like Hey, let's go Let's go to town and have a few drinks at the nearby bar and then catch a Pokemon Go on our uh, Catch a bunch of Pokemons on our way back. That sounds perfect. And also I noticed like chores like, you know um, Groceries and stuff like that are so much more fun with Pokemon Go. It's like yes, and I can hatch this egg. Yay! And before it was like, uh, I have to get the thing. I just want to. I don't want to. I want to just stay home and play games. So this is some. These are the things that really make me happy about the fact that Pokemon Go exists. I'm running out of wild bait. Oh, it's already filled? Okay, never mind. <sighs> Man, this, this micromanagement this takes a lot of time. Uh, is that harvestable? <gasps> it is harvestable! Oh, the artichoke! There is one thing not not thinking. 
Uh, what will it be? Uh, it will be a grape wine. I'm I'm very boring. I'm sorry. Uh, but yeah, jogging is also. I mean, jogging is the best sport uh, to me. I really like running. I have a theory about this, and that theory is that humans have evolved to run. We are. That's the thing that humans can do really well, like run. And I'm not to be. Don't mean like fast. I don't mean like cheetah, like sprinting. We're not really good at that. Not really good at that. There's way better animals in the animal kingdom that are better than, than humans at that. But biologically, we're really good at running for a long time. Like endurance. Is that what's really good about humans? Actually, that's the way... Like there's animals. I'm not even sure where I'm going. I'm just, just exploring. Um, humans are one of the animals... Oh, right. On Fridays? She's there on Fridays? That's weird. Huh, let me see. I'm, I'm gonna go back to this point in a second. I just wanna make sure that I... Pickles. I don't need that. Spinner. The shape that makes it spin around in the water slightly increases the bite rate when fishing. Is that good? I kind of want to keep my money. There's really not, not really great stuff here. It's really boring, boring stuff. Jogger, not jogging. I never heard about jogger, but I'm I'm all about jogging. I'm just going to continue about jogging and ignore it. <clears throat> yeah, uh, it seems like there's nothing here. Um, so what I want to say is like, it's really weird that he, the way humans used to hunt is not the way it's usually portrayed. Where it's like you know you have a bow and an arrow and you hunt something uh, and and you know and you kill it and that's it. Not like an aggressive sense like a wolf pack would do. I guess wolf pack would would also hunt the way this way. Um, so what I'm saying is like the humans would would hunt. Uh, there was a term for this. Um, exhaustion hunting or something or stalking. So the idea was like you would uh, find prey and you would chase it, and maybe you would like wound it a little bit. But then you would just stalk it and continue um, continue chasing it. And the animal would try to run away and, you know, it would try to run away and then get get away from you. But then you would, you know, find the tracks and track it down again. And then continue doing it until the animal would be exhausted and it would just be completely unable to move. And then you will kill it. Which is a crazy and super cruel way of hunting if you think about this. Uh, to, well, hunting, I guess, is always cruel, but it kind of speaks to the kind of animal, the kind of biological being that humans are. They are good at endurance. They are better than um, a lot of other animals at at endurance things. I love that kind of stuff. And so that's why I think, like, that's why, I, to me, that's my rationalization is what I why I like running. Is because uh, because this is what 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 uh, what I've been made for. It seems. Anyways, yeah, the days aren't. We're kind of winding down a little bit uh, these days. Like there's really not a lot of stuff. I don't want to go in the mines now. Um. Oh, it's fried. Let's go. Maybe maybe we can catch somebody in a pub. Let's see. It's a bit late already, but maybe. Let's see. So, um, people are asking about Squatty Party. Uh, there have been interesting developments. Oh, Sam. Oh, Sam, I think he already got two presents. Tonight, after everyone is asleep, that weird old man who lives in the woods will set up the haunted maze. He always makes sure no one's around to see him working. Oh, There's going to be a haunted maze. Nice. Also, this guy, the... 
Oh, that's so nice. Okay. Uh, mayonnaise. Mayonnaise party, I would say. Thank you. I'm feeling a positive vibe from that gift. I think that was what she said. This is a really nice gift. Thank you. You did good with this one, kid. Thanks. What about the kids? Ah. Um, let's go, Shane. This is great. Thanks. That's very kind of you. I like this. I like this. You know, get let's get it over there. Even Marnie gets one. Thank you. Thank. This is great. See, got rid of all of my mayonnaise, but that's good. Investing in the right people. Yep, squatty party referral rings. Yes. The right way to support this podcast is to evacuate your bowels. I love it. It's a bit dark here. Maybe I should put a torch up here. Ooh. Blackberry jam. Ooh, creepy. Creepy bird. No, don't eat the blackberry. Don't eat the blackberry, man! It's like this I'm attached to fishy meme on the internet. I'm attached to fishy, no. Okay, but I'm attached to fishy. Okay, just making sure that the chin strap got this water, but he did. Man, a bit of a ranty episode today. Don't forget the spears. Not sure what he means by that. Cool. All right. So tomorrow is going to be Halloween. So let's see what happens tomorrow on Halloween. I'm actually hyped for this. I'm 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 wondering what happens on Halloween. I never seen this before. Halloween generally a holiday. Not I'm I'm not very familiar with because it's not being celebrated here in Germany. Well, at least not not in the way it, it is in Americas. Mm. All right, guys. See you next time around when it's Halloween or the thing that that is in a game that is called Halloween. Bye bye. Oh.